Today I want to talk about the pause button on your uh, Android device you know when you record a video that you can hit pause you know all the guys that have no rooted phones you know like original phones these guys if they did the update to 4.1.2 they have the pause button but you know many of us we are trying all sorts of ROMs and we all try to uh, jailbreak our Android device rooted you know it's called an Android world and um, yeah and then at a certain moment uh, we're using our cam we have all these you know beautiful options and then um, we want to make a recording and then we see that the pause button is gone you know and we're like damn that that sucks you know I wanted a rooted phone but you know I really love this one but damn where's my pause you know so um, I thought well let me see how we can get this pause thing back and still have ourselves a rooted phone so how are we gonna do this thing well um, I'm gonna start up my screen recorder if you don't have the pause button anymore it's because uh, not all of the versions of Android support this pause button and a version that supports it you know in a very special way is a uh, version uh, 1.4.1.1 I think yeah there it is version 4.1.1 and version 4.1.1 people uh, has a special way of doing it if you're let's say recording a video yeah we're recording now and I would like hit record we're recording now and I want to pause the video then I just hold the button a little longer and then it's on pause see that and then we can record again and if I hit it now then it will stop you see so in 4.1.1 it's there but in 4.3 it's gone you know 4.2 um, 4.2 I think 4.2.1 hold on so 4.1.2 that is the version that is maximum uh, that is the, the the highest version of um, of Android that you can get for the Samsung S2 for instance okay I think even for the Samsung S3 it's uh, 4.4.1.2 because the 4.3 I think is not uh, it's not being delivered yet for at least not for my Samsung S2 if I want a uh, uh, 4.3.1 for instance then I need to do that with uh, my rooted phone okay enough talking so what do we have to do well it's not so hard what you need to do is restore your phone back okay you need to restore back to original and uh, to restore your phone back to original you must turn it off and then you hold down the volume button first you hold down the power button or the home button and then you press the power button keep holding the three of them until you see a screen and then it will say uh, hit volume button up to continue and then you hit that then you will see an Android telling you in uh, download mode that uh, you should not turn off the phone um, and then you connect your cable your USB cable to your phone all right and then it's in a it's in a download mode and then you need to start up a program that was specially made uh, to do flash phones Samsung phones phones and it's called Arden and Arden is a program you know that if you start it up here you can see it behind us in the screen then you will see um, a sophisticated uh, kind of flash tool with several stuff that you have to do up here you know but when you connect it you will see here that this will turn yellow that you are connected okay connected uh, with the USB is uh, a good sign if you see that it's yellow then uh, friends what you should do then is uh, get the firmware for your for your iPhone or for your Samsung your Samsung device 
and in my case it's called ICS full wipe ICS full wipe will uh, get the phone back to 4.0.1 I think or 4.0.3 but that will still not have the the how you call it the the pause button that will still not be there then what we should then do is go back to download mode then we turn off the phone as soon as the the 4.03 the, the the ICS full wipe is done you know then we go back we restore it again and then we're gonna restore it with uh, with other firmware the firmware of the 4.1.2 but that is only a PDA file as you can see it's 940 megabytes big it's original it's in fact the original file of your Samsung phone you know and uh, it does not come with all these other files uh, that you can find here you know in the ICS full wipe you see you can see here a uh, pit you see um, boot you see uh, yeah you see several things here and you're like what the hell should I do well it's not so hard I'm gonna show it one more time you know for those that did not see my other video yet <clears throat> okay first of all you will have to go to the folder where you have this this thing uh, this folder of ICS full wipe when you go up there only the pit will show you see you select the pit it might be that the program will get an error and that it will close but I'm just trying to show you here what you should choose okay for CSC it's not so hard if you go to the folder and you look at the names here yeah then somewhere here you will see something that says multi CSC you see that that's the one you need for phone yeah you select we're gonna select that one for as last because you know we, we will get a problem bootloader yeah if we get the bootloader you see we get an error here it's because the phone is not connected but for the bootloader we should then get let's see uh, for the bootloader we should get the AP boot you would see that and uh, for the PDA that is the big file you know we should take this one this is the PDA file that is the biggest file you see that that one has the the, the, the firmware and the other things are, are just like boot files and drivers and etc etc to get the thing going you understand so when you selected all these and your phone is connected to USB and it's in a in a download mode then it's gonna restore to that you know so when you restored and your phone booted up and everything is working you know don't even create the account just turn it off do the same take the phone again and hold down the volume button hold down the home button first before pressing the power button keep holding that until you get in the screen until you get in the screen and then you know uh, my battery is almost empty then, until you get in the screen and then um, bloody blah, blah, blah uh, you will go back to um, to your Arden and then you will only select yeah the PDA file and the PDA file will then be selected out of this folder the 4.1.2 this one here that we off up here here this one we will select and only that the PDA and then we flash the phone and then you know the phone will reboot and you will have 4.1.2 uh, installed again and then your phone will be uh, all back to original of course you want to root it after that again so what you do then is just uh, flash the uh, flash the PDA file with uh, SIA yeah uh, I'll make a video about that how to flash 4.1.2 anyway thank you for watching till my next video because my battery is getting empty and this thing is gonna die so um, I say uh, read this video like if you liked it if you like this information and uh, of course subscribe to my channel and till my next video bye